What's up guys? Welcome to our mountain home. Now everybody has been asking for a home tour. Yeah. And since we just got the keys to this mountain home. Today. Yeah, literally, uh, what, an hour ago? Yeah. About an hour ago. We decided, you know what, let's bring the camera up and uh, before it's all furnished, we wanna show you guys yeah. around. And uh, come on in. Come on in. So we got married in this town a little over five years ago and we had this crazy idea five years ago. Wouldn't it be super cool if someday we could buy a cabin in that town and uh, that yeah. day has come. Yeah, I think, so, I think, uh, did I mention that to you? Probably, because you're okay. the dreamer and yeah. I'm the more realistic one. I was having a dream and I came up with this crazy idea and I told you and you probably thought I was twice as crazy. Yeah, um, I, and every like, day. Why yeah. am I marrying this guy? Uh, when he's coming up with these crazy ideas, yeah. but sometimes my crazy ideas work out. Yeah. So anyway, let's get started. So this is probably my favorite room in the whole house. So we've got these amazing uh, wooden logs um, that literally run uh, front to back uh, through the whole house. Um, and I, when I walked in here, I really fell in love uh, with that and also uh, with the view. So the view is, um, is incredible, breathtaking, relaxing, which is a big part if of this. If you can't even tell though what this room is, because there is zero furniture. Yes. This yes. is the living room. <laughs> yeah. Someday there'll be a couch here. Yes. Um, and probably a big recliner for you. Something comfortable to look out the window. To look that's, out the that's window. That's really our goal. Uh, look out the window and relax. Um, yeah. But this is our main living space. Yeah, yeah. And definitely. then Let's be serious, your favorite place in any house. The kitchen. The kitchen. Yeah, where I get to eat food is my favorite. So um, we've, got, uh, we've got two little guys here. Uh, this is Braxton and Kellen. You guys have seen them before. And they are being entertained because they've had a long day of us packing stuff up, moving things around. And uh, yeah, I think they're, they're ready to maybe get some food in and, uh, and relax a little bit. But this is the kitchen. Um, you, this is uh, your forte. Yeah. So why don't you well, one it? of my favorite parts about the kitchen that has zero to do with food is this wall. <laughs> this house is really old, and actually, the kitchen, as you can see, is all real redone. But this is an original wall that they have built the kitchen around. Um, so that really has nothing to do with food, but that's one of my favorite parts of the kitchen. And the refrigerator and freezer. Yeah. We we eat a lot. Um, I know you're probably wondering what's what's in there. Yeah. And the answer is nothing. So we're not going to even yet. show you. Um, yeah. Is it appropriate to hug refrigerator and freezer combos? You you Should probably I? would. Could you not slobber though? Yeah. You just do one of these. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm gonna love that. <laughs> one of one of uh, my favorite things for sure is not running out of room for food. Very important. So um, anything else? I think this is. Uh, so the main, this is really our like pride and joy of the house. We'll show you the empty dining room, but I really like the lights in there. So let's yeah, show them. the lights. Here we go. Don't hit your head. Yeah. So this chandelier is kind of our mountain-esque, if you will. Uh, we don't have a dining room table yet or any type of hutch yeah. or anything. Yeah. But eventually you will probably see a picture, a video of Brian sitting here eating yes. all the food. Yeah, I fell, I fell in love with this yeah. as well, the uh, Adler chandelier. I feel like it's a really nice touch and uh, once we get a table in here, it'll be even more amazing. Just kind of another, another little closet. And then this uh, will actually be an office because we're, we're gonna have to do some work here. Um, we always are, are constantly working, but uh, yeah, we're gonna get this set up with a, a desk and um, probably a couple chairs and, and that type of thing. Nothing crazy for sure. Um, and then the last uh, last little area over here is the laundry room. So I'm gonna flip on the lights and just, you know, pretty basic, simple, uh, nice cabinets and uh, washer and dryer um, to try to stay clean with the clothes. As we're heading back to the uh, bedrooms over here, I just wanted to point out one thing that I actually kind of really like is this, uh, it's a big cowhide uh, rug that they, they hung on the wall. You like that? 
Yeah. I, I thought I thought we agreed that we were going to possibly get rid of that. Oh. Isn't it rustic and mountainous? It's rustic. It's probably been around a while. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we will you, uh, check back on, on that one. Whether the rug gets to stay or go. You guys you guys can probably guess yeah, what's going to happen. But. You can probably guess, but uh, let's let them choose. Okay, okay. Let them vote. Should it's, the rug stay on the wall or go? You guys choose. There you go. So uh, we'll go downstairs uh, after this, but let's go check out the bedrooms sure. here. So this is our boys bedroom and they're actually going to be sharing. So we're super excited about them sharing and they are too. Uh, just a simple, simple bedroom and they're going to get some bunk beds and yeah. they're excited about them. They have their own bathroom and, and walk-in closet back there. But uh, yeah. we're excited for them to kind of be a little bit closer and hopefully yeah. bond uh, through this experience. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. the mountain uh, getaway will be a sleepover bedroom yes. so we're hoping that works out okay for us we'll see so back here is the um bathroom so we got a, a shower here and then um i actually really really love the the countertops and the sinks um really really neat uh looking and um just just generally pretty awesome and then as we walk back here uh we got just a uh a bathroom there and then a uh, closet back in here. And as you guys can tell, I'm kind of searching for light switches and all of that because I don't know exactly where everything is because we literally, literally are uh, just getting possession of this. So anyway, we'll turn that off so the fan's not making noise and head back over here. So this is kind of what you could consider, I guess, kind of a uh, like a second master um, on the main floor here. And then this will be our uh, master bedroom. So come on in. I think they say, I'm gonna to totally make Brian blush right now. What? I think they say on cribs, like this is where the magic happens. <laughs> oh, I I did not expect that to come out of <laughs> you. You would not expect that out of my But house. it is, anyway, it on, is in fact where ma in. magic will be happening. Yeah, yeah, Brian's sleeping and recovering. Yeah, <laughs> so. so Go right. ahead. This yeah. is the only room, as you can see, that has any furniture. Um, everyone always asks, what type of bed does Brian sleep on? And right now, Brian is sleeping on the bed that we purchased from the sellers of this home. So yeah. um, I don't even have an answer for that, but that's the bed we'll be sleeping on for now because this is the only furniture in the house. Yeah, the bed, I'm not sure. I'm pretty particular about the mattresses mm -hmm. and they need to be supportive, obviously. So. If this one doesn't work, we're gonna move it down to a guest bedroom and get a new bed. That's the plan. So we'll see how it works out. Who knows? Maybe it will be amazing. Maybe it'll uh, be your new, like, wonderful must-have. Yeah. I would love that because I would love to sleep amazing. So, uh, well, since we're walking by this, why don't we show them one of our other favorite parts of this, uh, this place. And these are, this is one of two decks they come out of the back of the house. Um, so as you can tell a really, really huge deck. Um, and there uh, is a, a second one to match this um, actually on the other side over there. And that was uh, off of the kitchen and we just didn't show that to yeah. you, but uh, you can, you can kind of see um, what is so incredible uh, just being out here. And as... I'm, I'm sorry, are you talking about the mountains? Or are you talking about uh, that stuff? Well, in our new yard. Well, obvi obviously, I would be talking about that amazing structure mm -hmm. over right. there, which I... will be the new gym. <laughs> huh? Who's excited about that? This guy. Yep. So that's uh, <laughs> that will be a uh, mountain gym. We're going to call that Shaw Strength Mountain Gym. How about that? And this guy is excited about that. So the view is amazing, but the view to the gym, you can block out all that other stuff. And that is, that's why we're here, ladies and gentlemen, okay? <laughs> so we'll go check out the bathroom. Here we go. So we got the awesome uh, custom countertops and sinks, again, which uh, I, I think we both really, really love. Yeah, really love. And then we've got the uh, rock shower. That I love. Yeah. Do you love it? 
So this is something we might have to change, actually, because let me show you. As Brian steps in here to shower, if I stand this way, I don't I don't fit in the shower. This you arm fit. There's is like, basically like just like tuck it in there. Squeeze it in. <laughs> yep. No, that's so anyway. that is our one um, issue. But that we haven't quite figured out, so Brian might be a little stinky for a while, but so you know. It's a very common issue for me to not fit in showers. We could get yeah. you like a, kind of like your old cold tubs that you used to use and put it in the gym, in the mountain gym, and you can bathe out there. Other than food, then I would pretty much stay out there. Okay. You might miss me. We'll get you a trifecta cooler. Yeah, you might miss me though. No? Okay. <laughs> Okay, I guess not. No missing. Now you try to hug me to make up for it. I see that. So back here we've got uh, just a, uh, a toilet. And I actually do fit in this, surprisingly. Not massive, but uh, it... Um, he tested it multiple times in yeah. front of the realtor. <laughs> it was embarrassing. Yeah. I, I just said, excuse me, I'm just going to go in there, make sure this works, and it did. So, And then this is, uh, this is our closet where... We, I'm sure, I don't know how we're going to fill it up, but I'm sure we will. I've got a lot of t-shirts. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure we'll fill it up. So. Yeah, all of your shawl string shirts, I'm sure you'll yep. fill the closet up with them. Yep, for sure, for sure. So that's sure. pretty much our living space. It's, you know, for us to come here with our family and get the kids outside and be dirty, but uh, yep. we'll show you some other parts. Yeah, let's head downstairs. Perfect. All right, let's take them downstairs. Yep. Pass the go. rug that is uh, going to be taken down. So don't forget to vote. Vote for that. The rug is going down. Guys, vote for the amazing rug to stay, please. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Gosh, I just like looking up at that thing. Huh? Pretty good. Get down here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this, uh, this is the downstairs. And to be honest with you, we're not quite sure uh, what we're gonna do with this area. Um, so we got a really, really awesome fireplace, kind of some uh, built-in uh, shelves, and then, um, yeah, just kind of an open living area. Really cool kind of bar uh, set up with a, a kind of a, like a mini fridge and microwave. So, so when Brian gets in trouble, but we don't have the refrigerator in, in the mountain gym yet. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. We, yeah. t we don't do that, no. honestly. Sweat. No, I, I never get kicked out to You don't, somewhere. stop, they're gonna think you do. Never have that, has that ever happened, ever. <laughs> it hasn't, it has People have been awful, it has never she, happened. It has never happened, honestly. We've agreed that we always do, or we do not go to bed. Don't go angry. to bed angry, that's, yeah. that's one rule of our marriage, that is true. That is true. I do just spend a lot of time in the gym, so. Some people might think the amount of time I'm out there I was kicked out, but I wasn't. No, I wasn't. no, it's my choice. So down here, this wing is kind of for when we have guests. Um, am I allowed to tell them that secret? Yeah. That uh, someday we'll bring guests here. Guests, indeed, indeed, yeah. Win prizes, guests, possibly. maybe, possibly. Yeah. So, anyway, this is their bathroom. <laughs> yeah, so you got the, the shower there. Uh, basic stuff and just kind of a little linen closet and then again kind of the, the um, custom countertop and sink and and all of that so everything that you need to use the bathroom and we have two bedrooms down here this is the smaller one of the two we're kind of envisioning two little uh, twin beds down here if um, like our nieces and nephews come or something like that so that's kind of what we're envisioning down here and then uh, a little bit bigger room over here. And this room would probably be where that king size bed would go. I knew if, you were going to say that. If I it's knew not it. up to uh, Brian's standard, it will be coming down here for other people to enjoy. Yeah. Update video tomorrow of one night of sleeping. <laughs> the, Brian will be moving down, down here, here and we'll be getting a new bed upstairs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but so we're kind of in the middle of nowhere and I, it takes us a while to get furniture here. So Don't underestimate me. Yeah. I know. I've heard the stories that he just goes and uh, what do you do? Pick up the bed and carry it right into the hotel room on your, uh, on your own. What world was that? I know. One time in Botswana. Yeah. yeah. 
This kind of exits, as you can see here, right out to um, another really awesome kind of uh, patio area. Um, we got a full patio over here uh, under the deck too. So just a lot of area. I think if I had to say a hot tub and maybe a cold tub might be coming in the future. Um, I mean, if I have the gym there, you gotta do recovery work, right? Oh my gosh, yeah. oh my gosh. This is what <laughs> happens, this is what happens. <laughs> yeah, but uh, anyway, I think from here, we should uh, show them the garage. Sure. Do you wanna show, there we got a garage here too. And a lot of the homes we looked at, the garage where you park cars was going to be the gym, but Brian said that that was not worthy of a gym. Well. I mean, this is one of the most beautiful garages I have seen. Yeah. But I mean, I guess we'll be parking our vehicles in here like normal people. Yeah. And. Uh, well, once, I mean, we're, you guys will see. When we get to the, uh, when we get to the gym outside, the potential is there. And this would have been eh, okay for a gym, like, you know, but you know, you guys know how I like to do gym, so. This is the garage, pretty cool setup. Uh, we got the um, uh, second refrigerator, um, really neat kind of countertop setup there. And um, it's heated, which is pretty cool um, because it will get cold. I mean, we are in the uh, mountains. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we're gonna keep it heated. And then actually kind of a neat uh, feature is there's a vacuum uh, that's kind of built in, right? So you can use that, like if we need to vacuum out the cars or whatever. So pretty cool. Um, I actually really like this, but I like it as a garage and not as a gym. So let's go check out the gym and um, basically wherever you're looking uh, past the gym, there is all uh, land that um, that we bought uh, along with this place. So we're really excited. We're not quite sure exactly what we're gonna do um, with some of the land, but. Uh, we have been told that there is a lot of wildlife, so especially elk um, that actually come through here and um, it's quite a spectacle. So you can just kind of sit up on the decks and, uh, and watch things like that. So we're pretty excited to just kind of sit back and wait and see um, what all happens here and what type of wildlife we see. Um, but I'm good because I've got the gym. So let's go check that out. Welcome to the Mountain Shaw Strength Gym. So come on in. Let's get out of the rain. We're getting kind of like a, a nice mountain rainstorm, which is awesome, but uh, here it is. So this is, uh, from us looking, this is very, very rare uh, to find up in the mountains, um, at least in our searches. So I was unbelievably excited about this. Uh, it's a great space, uh, concrete reinforced, uh, the structure, of uh, this building is already done amazingly. Um, so basically uh, all that's left, left in my eyes is, is probably insulation because it's gonna get very cold up here and then running a, uh, a gas line out here and putting a heater in um, just so during the winter uh, it's um, much more comfortable to train and, and not unbelievably cold. But uh, as you can see, we've got the uh, first load of equipment that that has uh, come up here. So you guys saw from uh, from one of the other videos uh, this flip flex fitness piece, which will give a lot of versatility. And then uh, we just got a couple various things that we've thrown on here. Um, this chest press you guys have seen me use uh, quite a bit, um, and I love that. But I figured it uh, it'd be a pretty cool addition to bring up here um, and create a little bit of space down uh, in the other gym. And then um, just the reverse glute ham, which. I feel like with the training I'll do up here, that'll fit really well also. So definitely uh, not finished um, up here, but the bones are great. And uh, like I said, with, with a little bit of love, uh, this place can be amazing. And um, we've even kind of had the wild idea uh, for the contest that we're gonna be putting on in December of possibly doing part of the competition up here uh, bring the guys up and uh, you know set this up you know how we have to to run the contest that's a, a wild idea but I feel like it'd be pretty neat to uh, to share this with um, with all the competitors that are coming in for that contest so 
That is not a promise, but it's something I'm just sharing with you because, hey, you know what? Uh, it's an idea and it, it, could, it could work. It could work. And, uh, you know, I, uh, I really, it's kind of surreal in a lot of ways to be, be standing here and showing you uh, this place. And, you know, like, uh, like we said at the beginning of the video with, with my wife and I getting married up here five years ago, um, compared to where we were uh, then to where we are now and, and literally making this dream come true uh, is really, really surreal and, um, you know, emotional in a lot of ways. So uh, anyway, we're really happy to bring you guys along, show you. Um, we've got uh, a, a ton of work to do, but all of the work will be fun for us to, to complete. And um, yeah, so we'll, I'm sure we'll be showing you some of this gym build. We'll be bringing you guys along for the ride. And uh, as always, um, you know, from me, from my wife, from my team, we, uh, we love you guys. We, we appreciate the support more than you know. And uh, can't wait to bring you along on this, uh, this awesome ride. So uh, hope you all are doing amazing. For now, go out and be great, and we'll check you guys later.